What's the purpose of having a home inspection? Hi, I'm Kathleen Brown, Principal Broker of Highlands Realty. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about the home inspection and what you can expect. So we always recommend a home inspection because even a new home could have some problems that no one's aware of. But the purpose of the home inspection isn't to find every single little potential problem because when you walk through the house, the average person and the average real estate agent can already see a lot of problems, you know, like broken glass in a window or uh, you turn on the heat, you notice the heat's not coming on or um, that the floors are sloping as you're walking through them. But the purpose of the home inspection is to find things that the average consumer wouldn't notice when they're walking through the home. Like the heat only works in auxiliary mode, or the roof tab sh and shingles are missing, or that the foundation has a major crack that's causing settling. Things that the average consumer wouldn't really understand or notice or be able to get up on the roof or up in the attic. So when the home inspector uh, does their inspection, they are going to check not only the foundation up to the roof, get on the roof, but they're also going to check the major systems, the electrical system, heating and air, plumbing, appliances, and then provide a report to you explaining what they found. A lot of them insert photos that they take with their smartphone while they're uh, in all these different areas of the home. And then they're going to provide a report to you that explains the minor concerns, the major concerns, and the safety issues. Then you will work with your real estate agent and make a list of repairs that you're requesting the seller to make on your behalf at their expense, or possibly even renegotiate the purchase price in lieu of repairs. This is something that you'll discuss with your agent. So this really is not about getting a cosmetic issue repaired or something that's grandfathered in, which means that at the time the home was built, it met the current building code, but perhaps it's now outdated. Um, the only exception to that that we see most of the time is GFCI outlets, ground fault circuit interrupters, which you see those little um, receptacles near the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink where water and electricity don't mix. We want to make sure that if there's a problem that receptacle um, is protected and won't cause a fire or shocking. So we're looking at safety concerns and we're looking at major issues that the average consumer wouldn't notice in their walkthrough of the home. And so um, once you negotiate your home inspection repair punch list, uh, we have a whole um, addendum to the contract that talks about how many days you have to negotiate the repairs. And then if the purchaser is not satisfied with the seller's last offering of what they will do to fix these repairs or reduce the price, then most contracts do state that the purchaser can then terminate their contract, which we really hate to see because you've already invested so much time and effort and commitment to this home. We really try to help buyers and sellers negotiate their home inspection repair punch list so it doesn't end up in termination of the contract. The other thing you might want to talk to your inspector about is a test for radon gas. Radon gas is prolific in our area because of the mountainous uh, terrain that we live in. Um, if you'll look at a map and you see the Blue Ridge Mountains, in Virginia, starting up in Northern Virginia, Winchester area, down through the Shenandoah Valley, down to the Abingdon, Bristol area, and then the mountains continuing into Tennessee. It's an area with um, high uranium content in the ground and the gas leaches up into uh, basements and crawl spaces and can go even higher into the living areas of a home. And studies show that repeated 
exposure to radon gas over many years can cause lung cancer. So the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, has a set guideline of radon gas needing to be lower than four picocuries per liter, that's their measurement of radon gas, to be safe within a home. And if it is higher than that, then they recommend installation of a radon mitigation system. And that can cost anywhere from $1,200 to $2,500, depending on the size of the home and the basement or crawl space. But basically, it consists of uh, inserting PVC pipes through the foundation, the concrete slab of the home with a pump that pulls that radon gas out of the home and vents it up through a pipe alongside the house and up above the roof. So you might even uh, purchase a home that has a radon mitigation system already installed. So there are many things to consider when you have your home inspection. Your real estate agent will guide you through the process. We have a list of vetted inspectors that we've worked with for many years. And um, what I want to do right now is just to flip through a few pages of a home inspection to give you a idea of what one might look like. And if you have other more specific questions, of course, consult your real estate agent and they'll be happy to guide you through. Here are a couple of pages from a home inspection report showing you the different areas that the inspector checked out, as well as some photos of problems. Here he found leaks in this home, as well as recommendations of items for the purchaser to consider addressing with the seller, which includes uh, concerns, maintenance, safety issues, and you'll be able to determine from your report what you should ask your seller to repair. So you can see it's quite a process to go through the home inspection, but we have agents here that are going to help you every step of the way. That's what we're here for. Be sure to check out our website, highlandsrealtyinc.com, and find an agent if you don't already have one. We're here to help you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll receive an alert for our weekly videos. And also, if you found this video helpful, please like it so that other people can have the benefit of watching it as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day.